Hey guys, welcome to the HD channel and in this video I'm going to be reviewing and taking a closer look at the Captain America compression t-shirt so it's like a compression gym t-shirt it's uh, the Captain America Civil War one so it's a it's an unbranded one, it's an unlicensed unbranded one uh, I've just logo inside there and um, First thing, first thing is there's lots of these on eBay and Amazon, and uh, they're pretty cheap. They're about about six seven pounds, so they're really affordable. But just have to be careful with size, guys, because uh, usually I'm like a XL in a standard T-shirt, or if it's a fit T-shirt, I'm double XL. So the sizes do run quite small on these, and they do vary. So on this one, I bought like a triple XL. Triple XL, and just bear in mind that it is a compression t shirt as well, so it is supposed to be quite snug. So, this is a 3XL. This fitted okay, so I wanted it to be a bit looser. So, I, I tried buying a, a 4XL on a different one. So, I got this one, which is a 4XL. This is the Captain America Infinity War costume, this one. As you see, it's a more dark, darker coloured. But this one actually, this is a 4XL, this is actually much smaller than this one, which was a 3XL. So just bear in mind with your, after one of these as well, check out the size comparisons and also uh, just bear in mind that from each seller and each style, the fitment is a little bit different because originally I did buy a, a black suit Superman one as well. And I and that was massive because it was quite a standard fit and that was quite big. So just bear in mind like this 4XL when I put, when I try putting this on, this is like trying to squeeze into a, a small. This is tiny, so I won't be trying this on for you guys. But it is a really cool one, this one. The Infinity War one. It's quite a dark coloured Captain America suit. So this one is a a 3XL and the the label on it says, uh, I don't know if you can see there, Jim Gala, so the brand is Jim Gala, it comes in a, it comes in a zip top bag, you can see so it's, that's the brand on this one that, I'm actually, that I've actually got here, and the print is actually pretty good, the material is supposed to be a sweat resistant one as well so let's take a closer look at this and uh, then I'll try it on after so you can see what it looks like okay let's check it out okay this is a closer look at the top so I'd like I said before it's the Jim Gala branding on this one you can see so if you are after this specific top and fitment then this is the one I've got from Jim Gala the print is pretty good. It's it's a little bit. I won't say it's really sharp, but it's not too bad. Let me try to focus in there so you can get some. That's a close up of uh, of the print. You can see. Pretty good. Pretty good print. There's a Avengers logo on the side of the sleeve. Let me show you. As a side of sleeve, it is a stretchy material. It's supposed to be a a sweat resistant material, so it's supposed to keep your sweat away from your body. Which I'll give you the lowdown after when I've uh, it gets to focus. Okay, so which I'll I'll let you know how it feels on and after how it feels after workout as well. So that's a star there. This this is the top from Civil War, quite similar to the one in Age of Ultron, but there isn't the red detail around the star like in Age of Ultron. This one, I did actually like the design of the Infinity War one that I got, but that's that's tiny that one, so I probably have to go a few sizes up on that one, or maybe I can't get it because of the fitment so tiny. Because even a four XL, I can hardly get into it because I think the size is just just all wrong. So on this one here, so you've got the the straps of the shield design. You've got the Avengers logo 
on both sleeves, which looks pretty cool. You got the the belt buckle detail in there. Then uh, the back, you got the straps there. So overall, the design is a. Uh, it's pretty detailed, looks pretty nice. But one nitpick I've got is like, if you look on the side, the side seams, the actual design doesn't actually line up properly, as you can see there. So the top there is a little bit off, then the bottom is a bit way off. But that is like nitpicking really, because to, to be honest, I think, if I, I think if I didn't point out, majority of you guys probably wouldn't have noticed same again here, as you see. The colour looks all wrong there. That shading, that's bright. And it doesn't really line up. And it's again, same again on, on this side. That lines up pretty well there. But then again, at the bottom there, it doesn't line up. So the material is stretchy. It is a really lightweight material. But the main thing is that the material, which I'm not tried yet, I'll try it on, and I'll let you guys know at the end how this feels after a workout. Because usually, I, when I work out, I do sweat a lot, and I usually wear the Nike's dry fit tops, these ones. And usually, it does a pretty good job, these Nike dry fit tops, because it actually keeps the sweat away from your body, and you feel fresh while you're doing it. Whereas if you wore like a normal t-shirt when you're sweating, the t-shirt sticks to you, which is really uncomfortable. So hopefully this doesn't do that. Uh, because on the description, it does say that this is a, a sweatproof material and it does keep the sweat away from your body as well. So we will see if that's true or not. So let's try this on and uh, check out what it looks like on. Okay guys, this is what it looks like on. It does feel comfortable. It does feel a bit snug. Usually I, usually I do like to wear my t-shirts quite loose, so this is quite snug, this top, but bear in mind, it's a compression top as well, so it is supposed to be snug because it's supposed to keep everything in place when you're working out. I do like the design, I think it looks good, I think it looks on point. Uh, I like the strap design on the side there, with the style in the middle. The belt buckle detail there. As you saw in the close-up before, it is quite detailed, there is quite a lot of detail in this print. They've got the Avengers logo on the sleeves there. I think that looks pretty cool. The sides here, uh, what I pointed out earlier on, is a bit off. But to be fair, even the branded Under Armour ones also have this issue as well. I don't know why, for some reason, they they can't get to, can't get the designs to line up on the seams. But that's not a deal breaker, I think. It's just, it's not a very big issue, but I thought it'd be something to point out to you guys. This is what the button looks like. So overall, I'm, I'm happy with it. I mean, it, it's only what, six, seven pounds. So it is very competitively priced. Uh, it does feel really comfortable. It does actually feel more lighter and it is actually thinner than my Nike dry fit tops that I do usually wear. But I think the main thing now is to see how it works, how it feels in the gym when I'm working out. Does it feel comfortable? And also when I when I start sweating as well, is it going to keep me cool and comfortable? And will it keep the sweat away from my body while I'm working out? So I go to the gym and I'll work out in it, and I'll let you guys know how it feels and uh, and how it performs. So let's go and uh, give it a shot. Okay, so I just had uh, two sessions, so I just, so I just finished two classes with this on, and uh, see, as you can see, it does feel quite wet. My mash body doesn't feel that wet. Uh, usually when I do workouts, I do wear like a vest, and usually my arms are drenched in sweat, so the sleeves and this, this actually help actually. There's not much sweat dripping down my arm. Uh, I do still feel comfortable. I've seen some reviews where it does say that the bottom bit does ride up, but it's, it's been okay and it does seem to stay in place. The bottom here it does fold a little bit, this bit here like that. But other than that, 
it's uh, pretty solid. So uh, I think this coconut, I'd say I'd give it a thumbs up. I do recommend these. Yeah. So if you're after like a Marvel or Captain America compression top, uh, I would recommend it. So as always guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, click on the subscribe button. And as always guys, see you next time. Bye, ciao for now.